Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Eufy X10 Pro Omni Robot Vacuum Mop Combo. It's the latest flagship from one of the most respected names in the industry. It's one of the most feature-rich robot vacuums we've ever tested, and it's being sold at a much cheaper price than other flagship robots with similar features. So what's the catch? Is it too good to be true? We bought one and put it through all kinds of tests over the past few weeks, and in this video, I'll go over the pros and cons. So links in the description, and let's get started. First, the basics. The Eufy X10 Pro Omni is a robot vacuum mop combo, meaning that in addition to vacuuming hard floors and carpets, it's also a fully functional mop. Eufy is a company that has historically offered more competitively priced products, and that is certainly the case here. Take, for example, Roborock's flagship, the S8 Pro Ultra, which is very similar to the Eufy X10 Pro in terms of features, and the S8 is not quite, but almost double the cost of the Eufy. Starting off with the pros, let's start with its newly designed charging dock, which not only automatically empties the contents of its dustbin into the disposable bag when it returns to the base to recharge, but also automatically washes its mop pads, automatically dries its mop pads, and automatically refills the mop tank. The base worked well in our tests, and in general, I think bases like these are the final form of robot vacuums, and they really offer an almost completely hands-off floor care experience. Its mopping system in general was a major pro. The Eufy X10 Pro Omni uses two spinning mop pads that exert one kilogram, which is almost two pounds of downward pressure onto the floor as it mops, which is a lot, more pressure than most of its competitors, in fact. And in our tests with things like dried on coffee stains and dried on grape juice stains, it was genuinely impressive, clearing both stains completely with minimal passes. One of the best performances I've seen. Its mop pads also lift up automatically when the robot senses carpets in order to avoid getting carpets wet. And they lift an impressive 12 millimeters, which is way above average for robots with this feature. For example, the Roborock S8 Ultra only lifts its pad about 5 millimeters. The X10 also has a new mopping software feature called Edge Hugging, which you can enable in the app, which allows it to get closer to the edges of walls with its mop. One big pro with the Eufy X10 is its obstacle avoidance system, which is called AI.C, which uses a front-mounted camera, lasers, and other technology to see obstacles and avoid them. Eufy claims their AI.C system is the number one obstacle avoidance system, and I tend to believe them. In our obstacle avoidance tests, the Eufys that use AI.C have the top two scores. They claim the X10 Pro has been trained on 100 plus objects to avoid. They also incorporate a light, so it can do this in low light situations, like under furniture. The Eufy X10 uses a top-mounted LiDAR sensor to map and navigate around your house. It also has quick mapping, and it did map our floor plan in about five minutes. In our real-world navigation tests, its navigation efficiency and battery efficiency were both above average. We determined it could probably cover an area of 1,308 square feet per charge, which is also above average. Its ability to sweep up debris on both hard floors and carpets was also good. It had no problems with debris from fine to extra large on hard floors. With carpets, it did exceptionally well. Its scores were much higher than average with the carpet deep clean test, where we see how good it is at picking up deeply embedded debris like sand in carpets. It also had a fairly feature-rich app, with things like virtual wall barriers to keep it from going places that you don't want it to go, lots of customization like for scheduling, but also to modify its various bin behaviors. Really, it had almost everything you would expect from a flagship robot vacuum in terms of its app features. Moving on to the cons. While its app was feature-rich, the app was also one of the Eufy X10's weak points. It wasn't any one thing, but it was just a little more buggy and a little less polished of an app experience compared to its competitors. For example, there was a significant lag in the real-time progress of the robot on the app, and the maps in general were less useful. Though it didn't affect the overall experience, it just seemed like this was an area that Eufy could improve. Though its pickup was certainly good enough, I feel that that front-mounted brush is less effective than some of its competitors. Not necessarily for sweeping, as it did this nearly perfectly, but 
fine debris on hard floors left just a little more debris than some of its competitors. Kind of nitpicky, but there it is. One downside to having one of the best obstacle avoidance systems on the market is false positives. During the first round of the debris tests, the robot was very erratic as it was trying to avoid the larger debris rather than pick it up. We solved this by turning off the obstacle avoidance sensors in the app for the large debris pickup tests, so it's something to keep in mind. Its overall power numbers were a little below average in our tests. Nothing too much to worry about, as it did have excellent real-world performance results, like the super high carpet deep cleaning results I mentioned earlier, but it could explain the lackluster results with the crevice pickup test, where it was also below average. All those cons are relatively minor, though, and the real story here, I think, is its value. The Eufy X10 Pro has all the major flagship features that you would want from a top-of-the-line automated floor care system. It has one of the best obstacle avoidance systems and one of the best mopping systems out there, all at a significantly lower price than many of its competitors. I would still keep an eye on the reviews, which you can check out at the link below, to make sure there are no deal breakers over time, but it seems to me like a great buy if you want top-of-the-line features at a good price. All of the links in our description section are updated regularly to reflect our current favorite vacuums in multiple categories. If you don't know where to start, check out our latest vacuum buyer's guide video linked here. You'll also find links to the vacuumwars.com website in the description where we post all the latest vacuum news as well as much more detailed top five lists in multiple categories.